gold. And for us, that gold was people. We hope that we would see a few people saved by the power of Jesus. And so when I read this story, the woman, she breaks this jar. But I just want you to, and we're just gonna do this. I need you to see and know how awkward this moment is. So Joel is gonna be my Jesus representation for a second. But they're at dinner. She shouldn't even be there. I don't know whose glasses these are, but I'm gonna use them as a little bookmark. Um, but she literally, she takes this jar and they say it was worth a year's wages. So think about how much you make for in a year. Some of you are like 10,000, 60,000, 200,000, 400,000. For all of you, it's a different price. The cost of following Jesus for all of you is going to be a different price. But when you realize what you have in exchange, it's easy to pay the price. This isn't poetry, this is a real thing. Like I'm, you guys can't just say yeah, like you really have to believe it because we won't see anything shift in California until we actually believe that. Like, we have to say, like, Jesus, you're enough for me. Like, I mean that. I believe it. Jesus, like, I just pray right now that your people would encounter you. That you would be enough. And it says that she broke the alabaster jar, which meant that she wasn't saving any bit of that left. She threw it to the ground. There was nothing left. She poured it all out. There was nothing that remained. Like nothing was left for her. And some scriptures say that she put the perfume in her hair. Do you want to know what that meant? That meant that the women then were supposed to keep their hair tied up. It was a way of keeping honor. And she humbled herself. And she put her hair into the perfume and she looked like a fool and then she did the most awkward thing at the table with all of the people she took jesus's feet and she washed his feet with her hair what kind of humility is it going to take for california to be able to lay down our lives lay down the things of this earth Forget about washing feet. Will you lay down your head? Will you wash people's feet with your hair? This is what revival's going to cost. We can do church services by just giving a nice pat on the back. You need to get yourself low to the point of discomfort. Like, this is, this is not comfortable. This is not... This is not the normal Christian going to servant's life. But Jesus, he is our deliverer. Jesus. 